really was quite something to see. The flight with Mr. Silva's casket along with his family will be transported back to Brasilia, Brazil. That flight leaving from Dulles this afternoon at about 3 o'clock. Live at Dulles, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. Okay, Jeff, thank you. Meantime, investigators say a gun used in the killing of a woman on a San Francisco pier belonged to a federal agent. Catherine Steinel died last week. Juan Lopez Sanchez pleaded not guilty despite confessing to the crime. He claims it was an accident. Sanchez said he found a gun wrapped in a shirt on a pier. Investigators are looking into whether the gun was stolen from that agent's vehicle. Today is about Kate. It's about this incredible family that has shown such strength in this incredibly difficult time. It's about bringing justice to that family. Sanchez, who is an undocumented immigrant, has been deported five times and is a repeat drug offender. The shooting has sparked outrage about San Francisco's so-called sanctuary city policy of not detaining undocumented immigrants. And wicked weather leaving more than a dozen states on alert this noon. People now on the lookout for more flooding, dangerous winds and torrential rain. At the P Pittsburgh Pirates game, winds gusting above 50 miles an hour. Look at this. A tarp nearly swallows members of the grounds crew, trapping them underneath. Wow. Those same conditions hit states from New Mexico to Nevada, even up to Massachusetts and Pennsylvania. And is that part of the same system that we might get tonight, Doug? Yeah, most of that energy is going to stay to our west and north. Okay. So uh, the leading edge of a new air mass cold front is getting close. So we're going to have some showers and a few thunderstorms, but nothing like that. All right. Thankfully here. Yeah. So let's get started in our uh, midday Wednesday coverage here. We'll give you a time lapse from our HD weather bug camera in southeastern Frederick County, Maryland. Imesville is the town. Oakdale is the high school. And let's take a look here. During the morning, clouds and a few little sprinkles move through the area. And a little glimpse of blue sky now and then. And now as it comes to a start, off we're still overcast but even with the overcast I mean it is ultra muggy out there it is warm but it is very humid 84 at Reagan National right now 86 at Andrews one of the warmest spots locally 81 in Frederick and Gaithersburg 82 right now in Winchester and on top of that we figure the dew point temperatures the true measure of moisture in the air and when you have temperatures in the mid 80s and dew points in the mid 70s it is awful and that's what we're dealing with all day long so temperatures may not get much higher than 86 or 87 but with this high moisture moisture content in the air, it's going to feel several degrees warmer. Now, as far as rain goes, our uh, Doppler radar and satellite together uh, kind of spread out here shows most of the action is well to the west, and we're having some elements of rain and thunderstorm or two move south of the Richmond area. For us, just a few scattered showers. As we get through the afternoon hours here, and this cold front gets a little bit closer to us, that in combination with the heat and humidity may yield more showers and thunderstorms. In fact, some of our computer mo model guidance suggests that as we get through the afternoon here, uh, about 5 o'clock, there may indeed be a line of showers and thunderstorms storms through and across the I-95 uh, corridor onto the eastern shore. More showers and storms uh, below the middle peninsula of northern Virginia and more out to the west through the valley. So we'll keep our eye on it here, but certainly to repeat, nothing of the scope or magnitude we saw across western Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana in the past 24 hours. But remember, this time of year, any thunderstorms are capable of producing strong wind gusts, torrential brief downpours, and deadly lightning as well. We're looking ahead to uh, tomorrow morning. Looks pretty good. Partly cloudy skies, and I think we'll stay partly cloudy until the afternoon when guess what more showers and thunderstorms are going to roll through the area uh, from west to east so here's our story as we uh, move forward here uh, through the rest of this afternoon and through the next couple of days we'll have a 90 degree high tomorrow partly sunny skies with the afternoon thunderstorms and then as we uh, head through uh, the day on friday it looks like we'll get through with dry weather still a bit muggy saturday dry upper 80s then sunday afternoon a 30 percent chance of a shower or storm but if we take two days of sunshine or two and a half days of sunshine and dry weather i gotta work the memory banks here. I don't remember the last time no. we had sunshine on a Friday and Saturday and maybe part of Sunday. So we'll take it. Especially on the weekend. Yep. That's the best That's time the to take it. Yep. <laughs> All right, Doug, thank right. you. Coming up here at ABC 7 News at noon, must see video. What officials believe caused this shocking crash in Utah? The ABC 7 Weather Center is sponsored by Belfort Furniture. Show off your deck this summer when you call Deck Wizard, a Wheaton door and window company. Our unique process restores your deck like magic so you have a beautiful place to entertain or just relax. And it's more cost effective than building a new deck. Ask about the labor and materials warranty when you call now.